It's Wednesday the 26th of April and today is day one of the 2017 Classical Association Conference. This year it's at the University of Kent, it's being co-hosted by Kent and the Open University and I'm going to vlog the next four days of conferencing, of trying to maintain self-care while at a huge conference, of networking, of my paper, of all the things so come along and see what one of these gigantic conferences is like so i'm just wandering up to what i hope will be um conference registration i have dropped all my bags off i have gone to have a coffee i have like the bad academic that i am uh sat down and done some work <laughs> um on something unrelated to this conference. Normally on the first day of a conference I'm tweaking my conference paper but I'm not going to touch it this time. I'm just going to wing it tomorrow morning. Not really because it's like all written. Um, so here we are in Kent doing the conference. That was an awkward ending. Good evening. It is late-ish, 20 to 11. Um, on Wednesday evening, we had the, a plenary lecture, which was really interesting. I'm gonna talk more about that later. Um, and then a drinks reception and dinner. And then we just went to the pub it's been fairly nice tomorrow's the first day of papers and my paper uh, thankfully i love being on the first day i'm in the second panel um, of the day which is perfect because everyone's in the mood for papers and you can get yours over and done with and just move on i'm just going to have a quick check over my slides because uh I really want to go to one of the first sessions tomorrow and then I'm going to set my alarm and that's pretty much it. Good morning and welcome to the first day of actual papers at the Classical Association Conference here in lovely Canterbury. I am just on my way to breakfast, I am feeling refreshed and all that jazz and Hopefully it's going to be a really good day. My paper is in the second session today. As I said yesterday, I'm really pleased that my paper's today and not later in the week. So after that, uh, so from lunchtime today I can just relax. So first breakfast and coffee. So I've had some coffee and I've been to the bathroom, which is the most important thing to do before your paper. And now I'm just heading over to the lecture theatres to load up my PowerPoint and get myself sorted out and ready to go. This is something that I never used to do. Um, I would just kind of roll up at the, just before the panel started and because this is all actually quite quick to do, like opening your PowerPoint and stuff like that. But then I found that the first couple of minutes of my paper I was always like trying to calm down so this is a new thing that I do now where I go and make sure that I am calm uh, before people start piling in and you know hopefully piling in um I think I've walked in a place that I can't get to where I'm going from See, this is why, this is why you should do this. Because when you walk through a car park expecting there to be a exit, and there's not one, you're calm. So this is part of my sort of tips for the anxious person giving papers at large conferences. Be calm. Um, this really goes along with like the fake it till you make it theorem I suppose where you know you are at this point for a reason and there's nothing you can do about your paper now 
um, you put the work in and you just have to trust that you are on the right track um, and there's no point stressing too much about it now I know that's easier said than done to be calm and do everything that you can uh, to be calm and that might include a pre-paper ritual something like what I do go to the bathroom relax a couple of deep breaths do some like in the zone activities while the uh, the stall door is closed and no one can laugh at you and then get yourself organized have your paper know where you're presenting know where the room is go there at least five minutes before get a, a place to sit particularly if you're the first speaker um, I have sometimes ended up without a seat uh, in a place and then you just kind of look it's just it adds to the anxiety of the whole process um, and just try and relax that's really easy to say and not really easy to do uh, and you just have to do it in the way that you know best and that is probably uh, getting a ritual sticking to the ritual making sure that the ritual works for you and just doing it faithfully so that's what i'm going to go and do i'm going to go and faithfully do my free paper ritual this is the chorus of old women in aristophanes lansistrata reminisce about these were the roles of an arathoros which entailed year-long service to athena for girls aged between 7 and 11. Electress who grinds sacred grains. It's now Wednesday afternoon. My paper this morning went really well, I think, I hope. And it uh, didn't feel like a train wreck, um, which is always a positive, right, when it doesn't feel like a train wreck. So, I've just been in a round table about um, digital classics data management, all of this kind of stuff. It was really interesting and lots of things that I had sort of not considered, like what happens to, to data sets and who and how, who should access them and how can we make sure that they access them and what the role of things like Creative Commons licenses are and what kinds of Creative Commons licenses we should be using. Um, and various other bits and pieces, digital publishing and what native digital publishing is and means and what the role of the Institute of Classical Studies is in that and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just headed to the publisher stand room slash coffee room to caffeinate myself. Good afternoon. It is... Friday? It's Friday. And I haven't vlogged at all today because I have just been taking time. So this morning I met with a publisher who had emailed me and wanted to have a chat about my uh, new big project about belief for heavy belonging. So that was really fruitful and really interesting and nice to know that uh, someone is excited about the work that I am doing. That's always really lovely. Uh, I, then I went to a, a panel and since then I have just sort of been wandering about meeting with people and buying some books. Um, at the moment the is the plenary lecture. Um, I made the decision not to go because even though I've had quite a relaxed uh, day in terms of going to papers and things, it has still been um, quite a big day and I just needed some time to recharge. I So I'm sitting um, on my bed in the room, just relaxing, doing some 
nothing, doing some nothing. I think that's a good way uh, of putting it. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying the conference. I'm going to give you some sort of general thoughts and uh, impressions. I think that having been at the um, WCC AGM last week was really good because I have a tribe. Um, here, there is a group of people of wonderful, supportive, amazing women uh, who I believe in and who I believe believe in me. And that's been really a good way for me to navigate um, what might otherwise be a very stressful, very anxiety ridden time. It can be, um, these kinds of things can be really um, overwhelming. So I'm pleased that I kind of have this, um, this place where I can, people, a home. Uh, that sounds quite silly saying it like that, but that sort of, how it feels. I am really pleased with my paper yesterday. I've had some people come up to me and say how much they enjoyed it. Um, today I got to speak a little bit more about it with Jess Hughes from Classics Confidential um, for an upcoming podcast, so that will be awesome and I will obviously let you know when that's coming out. That was a really fun, interesting um, experience. One of those moments where you think, oh my gosh, I actually know what I'm talking about. Uh, so that was really nice. And then I um, had an opportunity to ring my partner and my daughter. So that was also really nice. And now I'm just going to relax. The drinks reception starts in 25 minutes. So in about half an hour, I'm gonna wander back over. And in the meantime, I'm just going to decompress. Uh, it's very important, it's a hugely important part of such massive conferences. And then tonight's the conference dinner. That's part of the reason that I wanted to do the decompressing because I know that's going to be a time of being on. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. It'll be interesting, I think. And I guess I'll take you with me. So I'll see you there. Good afternoon. It is Saturday. It's the last day of the CA and it is lunchtime. Uh, this morning I got up hazily and made it to uh, Mary Harlow's panel on weaving and I got to spin. Um, I've got some wool, some unspun wool in my pocket now and I have ordered myself a uh, drop spindle. <laughs> So I'm going to start doing some spinning. Um, I'm really pleased with how it feels uh, because it feels mostly like I imagine it should feel. Um, it's a bit sticky, it's a bit oily, it requires more brute force than I realise when you pull the wool down. Um, when I get my spindle I will show you my or you can, as you are, you know, on YouTube, um, search for weaving, spinning, and find people who can actually do it. Uh, and then what? Nothing. I've just been 
relaxing and hanging out. Uh, Matt Dillon introduced himself to me and said he really enjoyed my paper and I had a bit of a like a, oh my God, you're talking to me, this is amazing moment. Um, and all in all, I'm feeling good. I'm tired, I'm ready to go home. But this has been a really good productive experience for me, I think. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. I got some really good feedback and reactions to my paper. I've been able to catch up with a bunch of people and hang out and do fun, interesting things. Um, and see some other people's papers and all that biz. So I'm gonna go to one more panel um, after lunch and then I think I'm gonna head back to London. So that's it.